hotter for longer, more often and in more unusual places. Heat waves are being intensified by climate change. As people across Asia and Europe suffer the consequences of record high temperatures, scientists say new attribution studies prove heat waves are driven by man-made temperature increases. We have so many more heat waves. Um, we have heat waves in, in Europe, and uh, we have heat waves in Saudi Arabia at the moment. We have heat waves in China right now. We have heat waves in the US. And this is exactly what, what sort of the review paper also shows. We just see the frequency of heat waves has gone up so much. So this is, this is very much, we don't need to do attribution studies on every single one of them because we know already that climate change is uh, a key driver here. As extreme weather events from scorching temperatures to torrential rains cause widespread death and destruction, researchers tried to identify the influence of climate change on individual weather events going back 20 years. In the last three months, monsoon rains unleashed disastrous flooding in Bangladesh, killing dozens and displacing four and a half million people, while prolonged drought has left millions on the brink of famine in East Africa. While the same analyses of these events don't draw a direct link with climate change, it is still a factor. We know generally things like rainfall are getting more extreme. That's kind of generally true, but it's a little more nuanced. Um, but we have seen across the world a lot of serious and very damaging floods become more likely due to climate change. What the study highlights is that despite heat waves killing 157,000 people worldwide between 2000 and 2020, some countries still don't monitor them or even agree how to define them. There's not enough information coming from lower and middle income countries and the economic impact on productivity, infrastructure and property often goes unmeasured and health consequences unnoticed. In Tokyo, currently experiencing the worst heat wave since 1875, electricity demand is outstripping supply, threatening power outages. But while climate change is a key driver, it's not the reason many of these extreme weather events turn into catastrophes, say scientists. But high poverty rates, poor infrastructure and crumbling healthcare systems, which must factor into future disaster prevention strategies. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera.